And we're back to the Comedy Hype News Show. Now, we've talked about this topic yesterday, but we do have an update. DC Young Fly is finally speaking out after the death of his partner and the mother of his children, Jackie O. In a statement made to People Magazine, DC would say, we thank everyone for their well wishes and ask for privacy during this difficult time. Now, this will be the first time people will hear from DC since the tragic incident. DC's response comes after we've heard the well wishes from other peers. On his Instagram right now, we haven't seen an update from him for about a week. He has not posted anything, but he did share this response with People Magazine. Now, Danielle, I'm going to come to you first because we did uh, speak on this a little bit yesterday with Pierre and Capone, um, and I know you weren't able to join us. So I want to get your reaction when you first heard the news break of, you know, the unfortunate passing of Jackie O. What was your initial reaction to it? Wow. I think that's what caught everybody, that wow factor. And um, it made you put a lot of things into perspective. You know, I follow some of the persons that are in our close friends group and they seem really like a tight knit family. Um, so I, it was, it was just like, wow, honestly, it, it, it caught me off guard. And, um, I just wish everybody well, that was close to all of the family and friends were definitely praying for her, for, for them on this side, because grief is never easy, especially when it becomes, when it comes unexpectedly. Yeah. And, and yesterday I was able to talk to Pierre and Capone just about, you know, with comedians, their, their work is almost also like their therapy sometimes, right? Um, we've seen uh, Nick Cannon, you know, after the passing of his son, continue to work and work and work. So let me ask you, Danielle, I'm, I'm pretty sure we've all been in a situation of losing someone close. What do you think DC should do next? Do you think he should, you know, take some time and take a break? Or, or what are your thoughts around, uh, you know, his, his next move? I think he should take some time and take as long as he needs off. Um, the money isn't important. One thing that I did wrong, and I can give a personal reflection of this, I had somebody that was very close to me pass suddenly, and then I recently had my grandmother pass. And in that spare of time, I never stopped working. I kept going. People would ask me, are you okay? I'm fine. I never used to talk about it. And I sort of have regret now not taking that time out and really grieving and really taking the time to clear my head and all of that because now it's like sometimes you I wake up randomly and I, I cry because I'm just really just starting to deal with that now and in life you have to slow down when things like that happen you have to you're not invincible you're not you're not super woman or superman people will completely understand and guess what people that can't understand you're taking the time out for yourself just to check yourself mentally that you need to eliminate them from your friend circle. Yeah. And, and I'm sorry to hear your, um, you know, about the passing and, and I will make sure to check on you and send love to you as well. I know that's, you know, definitely a hard thing and grieving has no time limit, right? There's no time frame of, Oh, it's going to take this long. Just, I think you said it and Pierre said it yesterday as well. Take the time that's needed. Um, I know we talked about this yesterday, but I do want to make sure I at least open up the floor. Um, Pierre Capone, Capone, I'll start with you. If there's anything that you want to add, here as we close out for today? I think I pretty much said all I needed to say yesterday. Yeah, I agree. I can agree. Pierre, uh, just in case you wanted to add anything here. Well, it was great from hearing from him. You know, a lot of people were wondering his state of mind, where he was going through, you know, what he's thinking. So the fact that he even let his fans know and friends know, hey, you know, let me get some more time. You know, we're grieving through this thing. Let's have some privacy. And just the fact that we know that he seems to be you know, okay enough to respond is cool. And a lot of people care about him. So, um, no, but like, like Capone said, I said what I said yesterday and, uh, it's a, tra it's a tra it's tragic, man. It's tra you know, somebody so young, you know, she's 32 years old and a mother too. Whenever that happens, um, I want to focus on, you know, sh showing grace and mercy and love to that family and people. And anytime someone loses something like, you know, a person that close to them, show them grace and mercy and, um, not make it about something else. Yeah, no, I, I I think that's beautifully put. Um, again, you know, I know we send our condolences and love. I don't think you can send any, you know, too much love or, or too many prayers. So definitely love and prayers sent to. Jenova. Okay. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, no, I think you said it perfectly there. Um, it is good to hear from him. All I've been seeing from his friends as well is DC is a praying man. Um, I have met him before and just his spirit was always high. So it is good to hear and at least know, you know, 
there's, he's, he's able to at least communicate to his fans. So I did appreciate that. Um, again, we're sending our love and condolences um, to Jackie O's family, to DC Young Fly and everyone surrounding them. And then also right now, um, she did have a business as well, J Nova Collection. Um, it's a lip gloss brand, so we can support that to support her family in the meantime. Um, you know, buy it up, ladies, buy it up. Men, buy it for your women. Whoever, you know, whoever wears lip gloss, you can definitely, um, you know, support her, her brand.